Things you can do with a tax refund. Save it, go traveling, or you can buy a computer to wear on your face. We're not judging. I'm Ross Miller, and this is 90 Seconds on The Verge. For one day only, on Tuesday, April 15th, Google will let anyone in the US purchase a glass headset for $1,500 plus tax. You can choose from one of five colors, and it will include free frames or sunglass shades. It's been almost one year to the day since Google started shipping its headset to the Glass Explorers. And it's gotten better. Since the very beginning, Google Glass has been touted as a way to share your view with the world, as well as a way to get information without pulling out your phone. Google has continued to update both the software and hardware, and third-party developers have been contributing various apps. Simply put, there's just more to do with the thing now. Google itself even created a few mini-games, though admittedly you look really silly when you play them. And let's not mince words here. Even one year later, it still feels weird to wear the thing in public. While celebrities, athletes, and fashion models have all been seen trying out Glass, most early adopters have been developers and tech enthusiasts. And much of the coverage about Glass has been about privacy concerns and public etiquette. It's enough that Google has made its own list of do's and don'ts to help explorers avoid these faux pas. And that's one of the reasons why Google isn't selling Glass unmasked yet. It's not that there aren't more people to pay $1,500, it's just not comfortable to think about people around us wearing a camera at eye level. But Google is banking on us as a culture kind of getting used to it, eventually. For more on Google Glass, check out The Verge. Coming up, we check out Facebook's filling. It's right here between your teeth and post everything you say straight to your wall. Turns out I say some weird things in my sleep. <laughs>